Today we're going to look at the comparison viewer, side-by-side -side windows for comparing shots in Final Cut Pro, either with other clips in the timeline or still frames from the browser or the timeline. To open the comparison viewer, we go to Window, Show in Workspace, Comparison Viewer. The default comparison viewer layout is the image on the right is the image we'll be working with to adjust. It shows whatever is under the playhead in the timeline or the browser. The viewer on the left is the actual comparison viewer. It shows the previous edit or the next edit in relation to whatever clip the playhead is over in the timeline. Notice when I move the playhead, the viewer on the right changes. And now I have a new selection for the next edit on the right and the previous edit on the left. The first thing I want to do, I want to set up scopes for each window. So we do that in each viewer by visiting their view menu and choose video scopes. Keyboard shortcut Command 7. I also want to change the layout where the scope is going to be displayed. I'm going to change this to a single display for the layout option. Then I'm going to choose Show Guides and go back to the View menu and choose Vertical Layout. Now this to me looks like a vertical layout, but according to Final Cut Pro it is not. This is a vertical layout according to Final Cut Pro. It looks horizontal to me. And then I'm going to change the channels to RGB Parade, which is the one I use when I'm color correcting. Waveform RGB Parade. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. The View Menu, Single Layout, Show Guides, Vertical Layout. And then I'm going to switch to Waveform and RGB Parade. I'm going to adjust this viewer's height so it matches the one on the left. So now it's easy for me to compare these two shots based on the same scope setup. The viewer on the right shows me the image that's going to be adjusted, whatever is under the playhead in the timeline. So if I hit Command 6, it applies the default color correction, which in my case is color wheels, and opens up the inspector all in one. So any adjustment I do to the color wheels will be reflected in the clip in the viewer on the right. Here I'm desaturating it. The comparison viewer window is live, meaning wherever the playhead is scrubbed, it will update in the viewer on the right, and also update the previous edit and the next edit accordingly. The skimmer takes precedence over both the playhead and the clip selection in what is shown in both the main viewer and before and after clips in the comparison viewer, and also when using the keyboard shortcut to save a frame. But be aware that any adjustment you make in the inspector will be the clip under the playhead or a selected clip if one is selected. You can also use the comparison viewer with still frames that you grab from other clips that aren't before or after the clip in your timeline. In order to do that, go to the top of the comparison viewer and click on the Saved tab. Skim to a frame that you want to use for comparison and click Save Frame. I can save up to 30 frames. In order to see my saved frames, I go to the bottom left of the Comparison Viewer and click Frame Browser. The Frame Browser opens up with all of my saved frames. In order to use one of my saved frames, I just click on it. If you don't want to click on it, use the Option key and just hover over the frames. You can also save a frame by clicking the plus button in the Frame Browser. In order to delete a saved frame, just click it and hit the Delete key. To close the Frame Browser, click the red Close button 
or just go back to the Timeline tab in the Comparison Viewer. Probably the best way to save a frame is to assign a keyboard shortcut in the Command Editor. Go to Final Cut Pro Commands Customize, search for Comparison, and then click the Save Frame command. I'm using Control F. Now when I want to save a frame, I navigate to the frame I want to save and just hit Control F. You can also choose a frame in the browser, but be aware that the skimmer is live. So as soon as you move it, the frame selection will change to whatever is under it. If you want to use the skimmer in the browser, either use it with the keyboard shortcut for saving a frame, or turn it off with the keyboard shortcut S after you make your selection. Once you have your windows and scopes laid out the way you want, save your window layout. Go to the Window menu, Workspaces, Save Workspace As. I'm naming mine Comparison Viewer 03. And then I'm going to put double spaces before the name so it sorts to the top of the list. Click Save. Now when I go back, Workspaces, I'll go to my default window layout when I do color correcting, and I can immediately go back to the Comparison Viewer. Another tip for your keyboard shortcuts, go to Commands, Customize, and choose Export. I save a copy in Dropbox for easy access from just about anywhere. So there you have it, a very efficient way to use the Comparison Viewer in Final Cut Pro 10.4.4 or later. My name is Richard Taylor, and I'll see you on the next one.